Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, today's just a super quick video on some night photography that I did recently. I haven't had much experience with night photography and it can be really overwhelming and intimidating uh, on film. So I just decided to use my uh, Nikon L35 AF. It already had some Portrait 400 loaded in with a couple of shots taken. So I just decided I'd try that out, use up the rest of the roll and see how it came out. Um, most of these photos had the flash used on them. So I was pretty confident that they would come out, but just wanted to see what they would look like. I have a roll of, or a couple of rolls of Cine Still 800. And I sort of saw this as practice for going out and shooting that. Obviously it's expensive and yeah, I'm a bit nervous to shoot it, but excited as well. So just scoped out some areas that I'd maybe want to shoot and got a feel for like that nighttime vibe. I don't really want to do any long exposures or anything on a tripod. I'd really like to just run through the roll um, handheld. It's not really my vibe having to carry around a tripod and set it all up and stuff. So yeah, so this was just practice and I'm really happy with the photos that I got. So I thought I'd quickly run through them um, with you guys and you can let me know what you think. So I just wanted to start off with this photo, um, kind of starts the night off nicely. This is where I had dinner. It's an awesome dumpling place. Um, it's not super interesting, like composition wise, but I thought that the um, front of the building looked cool and it's got like a neon open sign. So yeah, just like a cool, cool photo, nothing special. Um, this next one here is uh, a little bit messy for what I would normally shoot, but I just loved the yellow um, bin in the corner or trash can. Um, I don't say bins in America. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, and there's like mops behind sort of that back of a restaurant, uh, look, which actually got a lot of those shots during the evening. So yeah, the yellow looks awesome. Um, and like I said, all these photos have flash. So the yellow is like really bright and like the whites are probably quite blown out, but I really like that look. So yeah, not amazing, bit messy, but I love the yellow. Um, the next one is inside the restaurant. Um, it was quite hard to get the angle on this. Uh, I had to get on, like get down super low to miss out the counter. Um, I just really liked the chairs and the, like the, the back of the chairs and there's like the takeaway sign in the corner. So yeah, I was quite happy with how I managed to frame it in the end. I love taking photos of pipes or anything electrical, especially in like car parks or when you're on your way to the car park. I just think they look really cool, like very industrial and they tend to have uh, like good like repetition uh, and, and symmetry and stuff sometimes. And it's it's a pretty sort of, I guess, ugly, sort of boring everyday thing that most people wouldn't even like think about taking a photo of. Um, but yeah, I, I think there was a cool, I, I love the color of this too, like the orangey color. And I think it came out really well uh, on here. Uh, next one is just out the front of a, a building that I walked past. I love the white pole and there's quite a few on this roll that are sort of similar. Um, yeah, I just think like, the flash on the like white paint just it looks so awesome. Um, and then I really like this little bit of silvery kind of plant like in the corner too. I think it frames it nicely. So yeah, uh, again, this one here with the white poles, I thought looked really cool. Um, and I, I really like the composition. That's always the most important thing to me in uh, photos. I, I like to think that I could get a good photo of anything just by making the composition really good. So yeah, I love how like one pole is like taller than the other. And then you've got like that diagonal line of the roof, like going through the middle. So, and then like, yeah, black sky and the white, it's like a really good contrast. And again, with the direct flash, uh, this one, I really, really like, um, as you can, you can see it on the screen as well, but, um, we all love to take photos of, flowers um because they're beautiful um but most of the time it's on a suburban street like 
you know, on a really sunny day or at golden hour. And yeah, it makes it look like super lush and, and pretty and nice. And this is just a different way to shoot flowers. Like I saw this and I shot it as if, as how I would shoot it during the day. Um, but yeah, I wasn't sure how it would come out and I love how, yeah, like the sky obviously is like all black around it. There's a couple of street lights down the bottom. Um, and then the flashes picked up all those green leaves running through the middle and, um, made them all like shiny. So yeah, I think it looks really effective and really cool. And it's something a little bit different. Um, next one looks very, to me, like super cine still. Um, there's a girl, I can't remember her name. I'll link in the description below. Amy McGowan, I think. She's from the UK on Instagram and she pretty much shoots exclusively Cine Still 800. And I know she doesn't use a tripod because I've spoken to her before and her photos are awesome, like super cool. And this really reminded me of her. It's not as good as hers, but um, yeah, you can see me in the bottom, like tiny me there with my camera and the flash going off, which I don't know if I don't know if that's cool or not, but um, but yeah, just like the the um, apartment block and the lights going up, um, I thought looked looked really cool. So it made me excited to shoot Sydney still, um, but maybe just composition could be a little bit better. Uh, this one here, obviously, I didn't take because it's of me. Uh, my partner took it just to use up the roll, but I just think it looks so nice. Like the color palette is really really beautiful. Um, like yeah, the, the lamp and the cardigan and the pillow and everything. And just, yeah, my face looks like really natural and he just took it quickly. Like when I was like sitting on the couch and yeah, it's just got a really, really good, uh, really good vibe to it. Uh, next one I really like, I sort of got a bit of a red theme going in the photos, um, towards the end. Um, so yeah, I just saw this, it kind of reminds me of McDonald's cause it's like red and yellow but I love the open neon sign. Like I was trying to get in that mode of like looking for like neon signs and places that were like well lit. So, um, but you know, would be appropriate for shooting Cine still. So yeah, I just thought it looked really cool. And I managed to cut off what was on that side. So it was like clean. Um, this one I didn't take cause it's me devouring some um, agadashi tofu uh, at Sushi Train. Anyone who's in Australia will know about Sushi Train. But yeah, that's where we went for dinner after we had dumplings and um, my partner took it and I think it looks really cool because it's after like the meal's finished. You know, normally people take that bird's eye view of food, you know, um, when it comes out and it looks really beautiful and it's just like kind of just looks like a big mess. Um, but I think it looks awesome. Um, Next one um, does look very cine still as well with the like light in the car park. I really, really like this photo. I love the composition. I love like the placement of everything. Like you've got the light at the top, the roller door, and then the arrow like leading your eye out. Um, and this like little bit of foreground here. I really like the light in this. And when I was going through the photos with my partner, he explained that if I shot this on Cine still, it wouldn't come out this warm, like yellowy color because of the tungsten balance. So, um, which now when he said that, I was like, oh yeah, I can, I can see that from what I've seen on Instagram of Cine still. So, um, yeah, I'd be interested to, to sort of, you know, put the two together. Next one is yeah, pretty like ordinary. Uh, everyone likes taking photos of shopping trolley, like shopping trolleys where they're like not supposed to be, you know, like in not in their normal environment. And this was around the back of an apartment building, and they were just all sitting there. And I like how like the one at the front is is all red, and then the other two are like just normal like trolley shopping carts. Yeah, and then there's like a little beach uh, pool pool chair sticking out at the top um, in blue, which just sort of adds something. And then there's some palm trees in the back, which again we normally see in in daylight, and we're seeing them at night. So yeah, and even like the crack in the ground that runs through the drain kind of frames nicely and pulls your eye like in towards the end of the shopping trolley. So yeah, I thought this one was cool. And again, it's like that red 
picking up like those bits of red. Uh, this one again is like keeping the red theme going. Um, this was walking through Chinatown um, through the back of the restaurants. And yeah, I just think like the red and the green look really good together. Um, I have mentioned Ren Hang's work before on the channel. Um, and yeah, this just reminds me so much of his work because yeah, he consistently used, um, used red. So yeah, I, I really like that one. This one here is my favorite, I think, of the, of the role for sure. I was really blown away by how this came out because I like took it and, you know, it's always, it's always the way you take it and you think, oh, I, I didn't think it would actually come out, but it just looks so, so awesome. Uh, it doesn't look like it's been taken on a point and shoot, like on Portra 400, like at all which I think is really cool. Um, just, yeah, the neon writing and then the way, like it almost looks like two separate photos, like like the leaves almost look like they've been like photoshopped in or something. Um, and yeah, they're doing that cool like shimmery thing with the flash. So, and then all like the neon signs all like blurred on the edges. And then you're kind of getting the reflection of the um, symbols, like the writing in the top there. Yeah. I think it's a sick photo. I'm really happy with it. So yeah, I hope you guys like it too. Uh, this one is in the car park. Um, yeah, I love taking photos in car parks. I've been known to shoot like a whole roll in a car park. I just love it. Find so much good stuff. Um, yeah, I love the composition. It's like broken up in threes and yeah, it just says like slow, and like the green and the red and the white look really good together and kind of echo the whole vibe of the role. Uh, this one I I like. I don't think it's like remarkable, um, but yeah, it's it, it's cool. Like the light in the apartment in the middle is on and then it's off in the other one. So that kind of gives it a cool moody look, makes you want to know like what's going on inside there, I guess. And then it's got like a lace curtain at the bottom, which looks really cool. Uh, and the ponytail palms in the side, again, like kind of let you know that it's, you know, on the Gold Coast or somewhere where, you know, they would have those. So, yeah. And then you've got like a pipe running the whole way down, like a white pipe running the whole way down the photo, which I, I really like. It frames it nicely. This one's like a super, super close up of the pavement in uh, Chinatown. And yeah, there was someone's obviously like emptied a mop bucket or something and there's like water running across it. And then you've got the yellow line curving up and then like the grouting and the pavement's going the other way. So your eyes are drawn like up and down at the same time. Um, yeah, just patterns and lines look really cool. And that's pretty much, pretty much it. Like there's nothing else to the photo. It just looks, looks cool. Um, this one is another neon sign was flashing and yeah, I waited until it flashed and I managed to get the shot, which is always a good feeling. Um, yeah, look, just looks cool. Kind of wish like this sign, like, you know, staff wanted sign or whatever it is, wasn't there, but it's okay. Uh, this one, obviously my partner took, this was like us before or me before we got our food. Um, I was actually making notes for a YouTube video. Um, but yeah, I really like the way like my shirt, like my blue shirt looks with the flash um, and the way it's darkened everything around me. I think frames really nice. And yeah, it's completely candid. So that, I think that's they're always the best photos of people when they don't know that you're taking them. So this one's probably my second favorite. It's, um, I don't know, it's just, like I just can't stop looking at it. I think I think I really like all the plants and all the nature at night with the flash because you don't sort of see that, you know, as much. Like I would never go out and shoot nature like landscapes or anything like that during the day. It's not particularly my vibe. I prefer like a more urban landscape. But um, at night, like I just think it looks awesome. And there's like a – I think it's a water tank maybe or something in the middle – um, and it's all white, so that's really bright, like really, really highlighted. And then you've got all the different plants around it. And then that same silver one that was in the last poll video 
is on the side and then the palm and like the flash is catching the side of the palm tree. Yeah, just I think it looks super cool. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you liked the photos. Um, I really enjoyed sharing them with you. As you can see, the light behind me is fading. It's winter, so the sun's going down uh, a little bit sooner than normal. Hoping to get out tonight, uh, have some dinner and take some photos, maybe load up the Cine still and just go for it. Definitely film that and put up a Cine still photo walk for you guys so you can follow me along and see my results. Um, like and subscribe. Um, new videos every week and it means such a lot to me anyone who is commenting liking sharing and subscribing thank you so much for your support okay take care bye